All right, Holden, thank you. The Olympic trials are coming to a close in Eugene, and thousands of spectators are in Hayward Field right now as the U.S. track and field team for Paris is being finalized. In our Olympic trials coverage this evening, KEZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez spoke with fans as they look back on the past nine days of world-class action. One family I spoke to came all the way from Ohio to be at these Olympic trials. For them, these trials are not just a sporting event, it's something very personal. We had tickets for the women's preliminary pole vault to watch our, our uh, daughter-in-law and some of her other friends that she's been. This is her third time at the Olympic trials. While this isn't the first time the Lelands have been to Tracktown USA, it's certainly been one of their more memorable visits. They've enjoyed their time at Hayward Field and around the Eugene area. They're particular fans of the various hiking and biking trails and the Willamette River. They also remember old Hayward Field and are very appreciative of the modern stadium. It's, it's lovely. It's um, kind of state of the art and they don't have anything like this too much in the world, I don't think. The Lelands say they couldn't have asked for a better experience and they wouldn't mind coming back to Tracktown in the future, but they also hope to book another important ticket. We hope to be going to Paris, France. <laughs> we haven't booked that yet, but if, go if, Kristen, if, go. if yeah. Kristen Leland <laughs> qualifies in for, you know, in the, fi in the finals today, the top three will be heading to Paris, <laughs> France to watch her for sure. Coming up in the 6 o'clock newscast, hear from one restaurant owner about how business has been affected in the area. Reporting in Eugene, Julio Mara Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News.